Around 2010, I finally started to do some things that really started to get me some traction, uh, like the Dead Mouse remix for the competition where I was a top 10 semi-finalist out of over 800 submissions, and the Adam K remix that I did with Dragon. But there were a lot of areas where I still fell short and had to rely on others to kind of guide me to where I needed to be. Uh, one area that I really struggled with was mix placement, and, uh, and the other area was mastering. I found myself having to outsource some of those things to really get them to sound the way that the labels that were releasing them wanted them to sound. And, uh, and that was something that cost me a lot of time. Um, in a couple cases it cost me money. And, uh, and I'm confident to say that I no longer need to rely on those things and that I can master my own track, I can properly mix my own track, I can EQ my own track. And I can do those things with other, with other artists as well. Um, my remixing ability has improved dramatically since the recording connection because I, ha I have a better idea of not only how to get creative with, with remix stems, but also how to put together a remix that I think that the label or the original artist is going to like. Um, it's very much like a collaboration with an artist in the studio. Um, you're definitely uh, not only bringing something unique to the table, but trying to satisfy them as well. And, uh, and the recording connection has done nothing but improve my ability to do that.